Hey there, this is Anna of Anna Kit and Photography. I am an instructor over at the Unraveled Academy. And right now I am teaching a workshop over there on how to do um, wonderful, delicious, creative, and emotive couples uh, photography. So if you're wanting to up your game on your couple shoots and um, get some juicy editing tips and watch me go through a whole shoot, then pop on over to the Academy and sign up for that workshop. It starts in early March. So today I am going to show you how I create a vintage film look in my photos. This is something that I think really adds to my couple's photography and helps them feel um, a little bit timeless and more tangible and I think more there's more feeling in them when they're more tangible. So I'm going to show you three things that I do. Um, I'm going to show you how to create the image uh, with a really matte finish. I'm going to show you how to add grain and I'm going to show you how to add vintage color. So I'm using Photoshop here, uh, Photoshop Raw, but all of the tools I'm using are transferable over to Lightroom. So um, no matter what you're editing on, just pay attention to the names of the tools. It might be in a different spot for you, but um, you can follow along. Okay, so let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is uh, create a matte effect. So we're right here, just with our basic exposure um, highlights little tab here, and um, we are going to start with highlights. We're just going to bring those babies down, maybe about 50. We're going to bring our shadows up, maybe about 40. I'm going to bring the whites down. You'll be able to see a, a difference right away with that. I'm going to bring those all the way down to about. 55, 50. And I'm also going to bring my blacks down a little bit because that will help me um, get a little bit more depth. We'll bring those down to 35. Depth in my highlights. Um, I'm going to pop over here to Tone Curve. And I'm going to add some anchor points. One, two, three. I'm going to add a little more there. I'm going to um, bring this one up a little bit so we can create an S curve. I'm going to take my shadows, which are the ones in the bottom left here, and I'm going to bring those babies up. So everywhere that is blue right now, that's where I want you to keep your eye because that is what I'm uh, um, adjusting right now. So I'm bringing those up and softening the shadows. Then I come up here. Everything that is gray, dark gray, that's where I want you to keep your eye. That's what I'm going to be adjusting. And I'm bringing those down. And I'm just softening them. When they're sharp like this, it looks very digital to me. And it's be some people love it. It's beautiful. But I love a really, really soft matte highlight that is um, creamy and really juicy for me. So that's how we create a matte image. I'm going to come over here to effects and we're going to add some grain. First thing we do is just add the amount. I'm going to be up at about 55. For the roughness, I'm going to be hovering around 70. For the size, I think I usually am around, yeah, 18 or 20. Um, that's the kind of grain that I really love. I add a lot of grain to my photos. It reminds me of my film days, and I it just flattens the image, and I think it's just so, so, so beautiful. If you look over here where the sky meets the ocean, you can see without the grain, it's a little bit of a sharper transition. When you add a bunch of grain, it flattens that transition. That's what I really aim for. I really love that. And that does remind me of vintage film. The last thing we're going to do is come over to split toning. I'm going to bring my color um, tab here and I'm going to bring it to a dark orange. And then I'm going to bring the saturation up to about five. So again, we're working here in the shadows on this. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to do highlights on this one. I'm just doing shadows and I'm making my shadows um, a little bit more of an orangey bring in a little bit of vintage color. So um, before and after, this is a digital straight out of camera, and this is an after. It's a lot more matte. It's a lot more creamy and vintage, and um, I love it. This is how I um, use these effects in my own presets, and I absolutely love it. I've tweaked it. I'm sure people do it in different ways. This is just how I do it. I've tweaked it over the years to get it just how I like it. And um, this is how I love to make my images look vintage. So 
try these out on your images, tweak them around, get it to where you like it and yeah, have some fun. And if you want to see more editing tips like this and to see me, um, to come along with me on some lover shoots and see me go through a shoot from beginning to end, then, um, hop on over to the Academy and sign up for my workshop and let's have some fun. <laughs>